In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection, Admiral Piet from Return of the Jedi. Hi there, Star Wars Collectors, and welcome to another Bosk's Boss Bounty video. And as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection, Admiral Piet from The Return of the Jedi. What an awesome looking card back, this one. Can't wait to have a look at this figure. This is, of course, the brand new Officer Sculpt. This is the first figure that we've had. They're going to be doing a bunch more, including Moff Jajerod from Return of the Jedi. Loads of different ones. Thrawn's been announced. I'm sure he's going to use the same body. So with all that being said, if you happen to enjoy the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And let's take a quick look at the card back before we open him up. I just want to say a huge thank you to my buddy and Patreon supporter, Josh B., for sending me this wave or you know selling me this wave all the way from the united states it got here in record time so thank you once again josh i really do appreciate it buddy and look at that card back this is probably my favorite card back from the wave there's admiral piet there you've got the death star in the background uh they're on the uh, super star destroyer admiral piet in the name pill and there he is there with his bug eyes as you can see uh back of the card VC 270 in the line. There's the other figures from the wave and a couple of the from the previous wave as well. Uh, but what a beautiful card back this one is. It's got the 40th anniversary logo in the corner there. Another Jedi card. We've got loads of Jedi cards in the vintage collection. But um, we desperately needed a new officer sculpt for three and three quarter inch. And for the vintage collection, we now have him. And of course, that means we're going to get plenty of other figures uh, that use this sculpt. So with all that being said... There's the Kenner logo at the bottom there. What a beautiful card back. This is definitely one that I would love to get signed by the actor as well. Um, and he just looks awesome in the bubble. But we're going to be removing the figure from the card right now. And we'll be taking a look. And I'm also going to compare him against uh, a previous officer sculpt that we have. I have Captain Nida to compare him against as well. So let's do that right now. All right then. So here is Admiral Piet out of the packaging. And I've stood him next to Captain Nida from the Legacy Collection, which was released in what? 2008 2009 somewhere around there and you can immediately see the improvements that they've made in the general sculpt of the body uh, you can see the flared trousers on Admiral Piet looks loads better the actual tunic just looks loads better as well you can also see that Piet does have the one cylinder on there which is correct to Admiral Piet I think if you look at other officers sometimes they have two and even that is just so much more intricate than what we have on uh, Captain Nida there. You will notice that the caps are a different size. A lot of people are saying that the uh, new officer cap is oversized and I wouldn't disagree with that. However, what I would say is that the Captain Nida's head does look a little bit undersized. It's a little P head there and therefore the cap is smaller as well. But what I will do is I will put the smaller cap onto Admiral Piet in a second and you can let me know what you think. Uh, we're also going to take a really close up look at Admiral Piet in a second. I just wanted to put them side by side to give you that little comparison. I mean, look at the dodgy knees on Captain Nida. They completely fixed that and it just looks loads better as well. The tunic on Admiral Piet has a split on the sides and it is possible to sit Admiral Piet down. So if they are going to use this sculpt again for future officers, maybe from the briefing table or something, then they are going to be able to sit down, which is great news. All right, so let's just quickly put the smaller cap onto the new figure, just to see what it quickly looks like. And then we'll look at the Admiral Piet in close-up detail. And there you go. It doesn't look right. It just looks like it's sitting on top of his head. Because as I said, I think Captain Nida's head is just ever so slightly undersized. If you look at it there, he's got that little P head. I don't think that's proportionate to the rest of his body, in my opinion. So obviously with Admiral Piet having a slightly larger head, then he'll need a slightly larger cap. But as I said, I do agree it is ever so slightly oversized. Just very quickly, Admiral Piet does come with one accessory. He comes with this little side blaster pistol here. Um, I don't really remember him having one in the movie and he doesn't have a holster for it or anything. So I think for me, this one's going to be put into a little baggie and in, in a little tin of mine where I keep all my accessories. All right, then. So here we are. We can take a close up look at the figure and let's get an extreme close up of his head. What a fantastic portrait that is. Photo reel is out of this world for a figure this small. And I just think they've captured the actor's likeness 
That is Admiral Pierre. That is fantastic. You can see he's got those bug eyes, really wide open eyes there. And I just think it looks great. But look at the sculpting on the body. You can see all those sort of ruffles and creases in his uniform. There's the single cylinder that I mentioned before and his rank badge. You have the silver detail on his belt. And we just move him around so you can see the back of him once again some sculpting detail on his back and there's those splits at the side that i mentioned of his tunic and this is like a soft rubbery plastic which enables him to have really really good articulation which you don't really need for an officer but as i said it would be good if they can sit down and i have done the sit down test with this figure and he can do it which is great and that is because he does have those new barbell hips which makes it really really easy Let's just quickly take the hat or the cap off so you can see what he looks like. I don't really remember him ever taking his cap off in the film, but, you know, they've given him a short haircut there, which probably matches the actor at the time. And once again, you can really see, in my opinion anyway, that that is Admiral Piet. That is fantastic. Really, really good. Um, I've seen the photos of the Moff J. Gerard and that one, not so much, I don't think looks as good as this one anyway. This one, they've really really caught the actor's portrait there. In terms of articulation, the head is on a double barbell, which means you're going to get plenty of motion on the head. Really, really good. We have the ball hinge shoulders. We have the hinge at the elbow. We have hinged wrists as well, which is great. Torso is on a ball, so you can crunch forward like so. Move back. Swivel. Really, really good. As I mentioned, he has the barbell hips. He has the split at the thigh. Hinge at the knee, which swivels, of course. And then we have the hinge at the boot down below, which is a rocker ankle as well. So you're getting incredible articulation for somebody that really doesn't actually need it, but it's good to have all the same. And I'm just can't get over that head sculpt really. That is really, really good. Um, the only negative about this figure is the size of the cap, but looking at it in there, I don't think that looks too bad really. It's not gonna do my head in that much. I think um, once again, if you look at the Moff Gerard images that we've had it kind of looks worse on that figure but this one i think it looks okay i'm just glad that we now have a brand new officer sculpt because it's going to allow for lots of different officers that we need in the line and admiral Pierre was a good choice to start with and there you go to end the video i just thought i would put him in that sitting pose for you just to show you that it is possible so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on admiral Piet. Are you happy that they've done a brand new officer sculpt? And if so, which officers are you looking forward to them putting out in the future? I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. And a big thanks to Josh once again for allowing me to have this wave to review in the first place. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we shall see you on the next one.